Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching the Book Dragon. Today I'm bringing to you my most requested video and it is the Bookshelf Tour, okay? I did my first Bookshelf Tour far back in 2020 and it's nearly been two years since I did it. In these two years, my collection has more than doubled in its amount and I also have changed my bookshelves in the past year. I put off this video for so long because it takes a lot of work to do and finally I filmed everything and edited everything also. Before getting into the bookshelf tour, I'll just give you the answers for some of the FAQs which I received in my last bookshelf tour. I'll also link it down in the description so that you can check it out if you're interested. First of all, I own a total of more than 250 books in these shelves and definitely I have not read all of them. I'm sure it is the same case for other people who own a book collection or a library also. The main reason I'm keeping so many unread books on my shelves is because I always like to have more options to read from. I've read more than two thirds of this collection so there's just one third which i've not read i'm sure that i'll be catching up with the tbr pretty soon because i've been reading so many physical books lately and there are totally two shelves as you can see behind me one towards my right and one towards my left each shelf has four levels and each and every level put together i have around 50 books so there are totally more than 250 books as a whole the last answer which i want to give is about the organization of the books on the shelves i've not followed any specific organizational way okay i've just put all the series together and for some specific authors from whom i have multiple books i've arranged all of them put together Apart from that, any other standalones are just shelved together according to the way that I feel about them. Before getting into the actual tour itself, I just want to tell you guys two other things. The first one is that you'll be seeing an overview of each and every shelf in the beginning and then you'll be seeing each and every individual book inside the shelf. So it's not going to be me talking and then all the books going like a camera roll. I'll show you the entire level from the first shelf as well as the second shelf and then I'll show you each and every individual book separately. The other thing is that I received one book just one hour before starting to film this video and it is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I ordered this on Chapter and Bookstores and I ordered it five months back. It's been a struggle to get this book delivered to me in these past five months and I'd highly not recommend anyone to buy from Chapter and Bookstores from the experience that I've had from them. Since I was not able to include this book inside the bookshelf tour, I'm just showing it in the beginning itself. Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. So without any more further ado, let's get into the bookshelf tour right away. So yes guys, this is the first level. Just like in every other level, I have uh, two shelves or two racks for each and every level. Here on the first level, I have some scented candles and one complete series of mine which is the inheritance cycle apart from that i have some unfinished series also which i don't own completely i have like two sets of candles and i just love candles okay if you've not tried candles please do try them guys scented candles they are just wonderful and they just give you so much peace especially if you like meditating and the stack of notebooks that you see on top here they are just some of my journals from last year this is not all it's just a few I don't have enough space to keep all of them on the single shelf itself. So yeah, this is the first half of the first level. On the second half of this first level, I have uh, some other series and some books by the same author which I've stored together. First, we have my Pony and Sylvan series. After that, I have lined up all my John Green books. I don't own two of his books alone, but probably I'll be buying them sometime in the future. Then I have some Gillian Flynn books, some mythological fiction books, and the only two Paulo Colo books that I own. I've read The Alchemist only, I've not read Hippie. And uh, here is just a stack of some mixture of books. There are short story collections, non-fiction, thriller and every such thing. And uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad which you see on top is my current read when I'm filming this video. And at last I have uh, two thrillers and a collection of speeches and poems. So that's all for the first level. Let's just see all the individual books now. Monstrous Regiment, The Fifth Elephant, Going Postal, I Shall Wear Midnight, and Jingo by Terry Pratchett, Aragon, Eldest, Grisinger, and Inheritance by Christopher Paolini, Altered Carbon by Richard Morgan, The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling, Tunnels, and Deeper by Roderick Gordon and Brian Williams, and The Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness and Rowena Kai. The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower. Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Mass. Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. My Brother's Name is Jessica by John Boyne. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu 
the boy who loved the boy with a broken heart and the perfect us by durjoy datta the host by stephanie meyer milk man by anna burns on beauty by zadi smith kafka on the shore by haruki murakami pray by michael creighton kujo by stephen king birthday girl by haruki murakami pocket book of pirates by sina bolton karma 101 by joshua mack the undomestic goddess by sophie kinsella the magician's nephew the lion the witch and the wardrobe and prince caspian by cs lewis pony and selvan part 1 to part 5 by kalki an abundance of catherines will grayson will grayson the fault in our stars looking for alaska paper towns and turtles all the way down by john green sharp objects dark places and gone girl by gillian flynn narasimha and hiranya kashyap by kevin missel hippy and the alchemist by paulo coelho eat pray love by elizabeth gilbert the witches by roald dahl illustrated by quentin blake 12 rules for life an antidote to chaos by jordan b peterson punching the air by eb zoboy and yusuf salam cross country by james patterson neither here nor there travels in europe and notes from a big country by bill bryson othering heights by emily bronte little women by louisa may alcott Summer Days and Summer Nights edited by Stephanie Perkins The Girl on the Train and Into the Water by Paula Hawkins Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T Kiyosaki World's 50 Greatest Speeches and World's 50 Greatest Poems from Fingerprint Now we are in the second level and uh, here I just have some books from different genres that's just a mix and I have the Ramchandra trilogy as you can see After that most of these are continuous series and these next two levels are probably my most favorite because I love almost all the books in these two levels and uh, they just form the frame for my videos you might have seen always and I have a bluetooth speaker right there which I use for listening to my audiobooks it's just awesome and on top of the game of thrones books you can see just a set of notebooks okay these are just my uh, scripting essentials for the videos the big one that you see here is the note in which I uh, write down all my scripts always and uh, these are like master lists which have the ideas for my videos for the upcoming weeks and in this box i just have some annotating essentials okay it's just a mess so i'm not going to show it to you guys now the second half is actually kind of like my sanctuary because it's my shadow hunter section i don't have any other books other than the shadow hunter books here so it's all shadow hunters okay some of them are signed and some of them are special editions i just like to collect all the different editions of these books okay i'm trying to build a collection let's just wait and see how many years it's going to take and uh, i have two more journals on top you can see here and uh, they are my daily journals i use them every day and the color pens that you see there are for the journals obviously because i'm bored of using just black and blue pens because it's turned into a habit for me for writing journals and uh, sometimes habits get boring in order to just add some flavor to it i'm using color pens now so yeah this is the second half of this level now we'll just see all the individual books in this level the first men in the moon by hg wells a christmas carol by charles dickens animal farm by george orwell The Prophet by Khalil Gibran, Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, Tao Teaching by Lao Tzu, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, The White Tiger by Aravind Adiga, Life of Pi by Jan Martel, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Brazen by Penelope Bagio, Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini, Ram Sign of Ikshvaku, Sita Warrior of Mithila, and Ravan Enemy of Aryavarta by Amish Tripathi Fire and Blood by George R R Martin Elantris Warbreaker and The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson A Game of Thrones A Clash of Kings A Storm of Swords Part 1 Steel and Snow A Storm of Swords Part 2 Blood and Gold A Feast for Crows A Dance with Dragons Part 1 Dreams and Dust and a dance with dragons part 2 after the feast by george r r martin lizzie's story insomnia desperation bag of bones and hearts in atlantis by stephen king ghosts of the shadow market chain of gold chain of iron chain of iron waterstones edition the lost book of the white lady midnight lord of shadows queen of air and darkness clockwork angel 
clockwork prince clockwork princess the bane chronicles city of bones city of ashes city of glass city of fallen angels city of lost souls city of heavenly fire tales from the shadow hunter academy and the red scrolls of magic by cassandra clare metamorphosis by franz kafka the jungle book by rudyard kipling the great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald this is the next level which actually occurs inside the frame of all my videos so i have the truly dv series some other contemporary as well as fantasy books apart from that i have the ember quartet renegades lord of the rings all my grisha books and some other standalones so this shelf mostly consists of hard covers and uh, that's one of the main reasons i included inside the frame because when lighting is proper these books just provide a great background the second half of this level has some more fantasy series and apart from that i have some contemporary standalones also i have actually changed this section of the shelf as a whole because i just want to provide some variety inside the frame of my videos i have just included all my recent favorites which used to be down below and at last we can see some non fiction books which are probably all my favorites and uh, some of them are books which i have not read yet but i'm planning to read them this year now we'll just see all the books in this level catching fire by susan collins the boy in the striped pajamas by john boyne the belated bachelor party by ravinder singh the school for good and evil by soman chainani release by patrick ness the crimes of grindelwald by jk rowling The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stair, The Hand on the Wall, and The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson, The Last Family in England, and The Possession of Mr. Cave by Matt Haig, An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, A Reaper at the Gates, and A Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabah Tahir, Renegades, and Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J. R. R. Tolkien, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, King of Scars, and Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, The Book of Essi by Megan McLean Weir. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, Illumine, and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown, Killing Commentary by Haruki Murakami, Never Night, God's Grave, and Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff, The City of Brass by S. A. Chakraborty, Tune by Frank Herbert, Red Sister, Grey Sister, and Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence. Clap when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo, Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Beach Read by Emily Henry, A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman, Radio Silence by Alice Osman, The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Osman, Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zeratsky, How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole Lepera, The Everyday Hero Manifesto and The 5 AM Club by Robin Sharma, Attitude is Everything by Jeff Keller, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss, Deep Work by Cal Newport, Skin Rules by Dr. Jayashree Sharad, 1984 by George Orwell. And now to the last level. I'm sorry that the lighting is very poor here, guys. Okay, I'm not able to bring that much light in here because this level is so close to the floor, and I have just a collection of assorted genres here. You can just see some thrillers, contemporary, and some non-fiction piled up together on that stack. And then here I have some non-fiction as well as some standalone books. I have my Royal Dahl collection over here, and then we have. the stock materials and uh, one other book from the same world and then i have some more standalones the mass room which you see there is also one of the books that i'm currently reading finally we are at the second half of the last level of my bookshelf this also consists mostly of standalone books and uh, most of them just don't go with any of the other books that's the main reason i made a group 
using them alone and uh, here i have my candle also which you can just see over there and uh, yeah on the last corner i have my sherlock holmes collection and a few more non-fiction books so yeah that's the last chunk of my bookshelf as a whole and in this mug i just have some stationery like bookmarks pencils color pencils straws and stuff yeah that's the last chunk of the bookshelf and uh, now we'll see the individual books in this shelf also Heartless by Marissa Meyer, P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern, Lone Wolf by Jody Pickle, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna, Gone Tomorrow by Lee Child, Angels and Demons by Dan Brown, Sapiens A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari, Dreams from My Father, and The Audacity of Hope by Barack Obama. Ignited Minds by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam The Quick and Easy Way to Effective Speaking How to Develop Self-Confidence and Influence People by Public Speaking and How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill Sense and Sensibility and Emma by Jane Austen Wonder by R.J. Palacio, The Source by Dr. Tara Swart, Zero to One by Peter Thiel with Blake Masters, I Love You So Mochi by Sarah Kuhn, A Biography of Rahul Dravid by Devendra Prabhudesai, The Tunnels Below by Nadine Wild Palmer, Sivagami in Sabadam by Kalki, The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, one Day by David Nichols, The Time of Our Lives by Jane Costello, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Matilda, James and the Giant Peach, Danny the Champion of the World, and the BFG by Roald Dahl, illustrated by Quentin Blake, Starter for Ten by David Nichols, Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife, The Amber Spyglass, and The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Everything Under by Daisy Johnson, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, The Mass Room by Rachel Kushner, Inferno by Dan Brown, The Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Mini Shopaholic, Shopaholic Abroad, Shopaholic and Baby, Shopaholic to the Rescue, and Shopaholic to the Stars by Sophie Kinsella. Pony and Sylvan Bind Up by Kalki, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl, illustrated by Quentin Blake, Shyam, an illustrated retelling of the Bhagavata by Devdat Patnaik, The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Picture Perfect by Jody Pickle, Us Against You by Frederick Bachman, Heroes by Stephen Fry, the Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalaniti, Ikigai The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life by Hector Garcia and Francis Morales, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, The Course of True Love and First Dates, A Magnus Bain Story by Cassandra Clare, The Midnight Air, A Magnus Bain Story by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan, Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda, Ageless Body, Timeless Mind, and The Future of God by Deepak Chopra, Death and Inside Story by Sadhguru, The Return of Sherlock Holmes, The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Novels of Sherlock Holmes, and The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, The Illusionists by Ashish Gupta, how to Talk to Anyone by Lail Loundis, Factfulness by Hans Rosling, and A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. So yes guys, that was my bookshelf tour which has been asked so many times in the comments in my live stream as well as normal videos. It has taken so much time and effort from my side in order to make this video because it has taken an entire week for me to film it, edit it and then upload it. I just hope that you liked watching it and if you did enjoy watching the video, please do comment below with some emojis so that I understand what emotion I have invoked in you guys from this video. And if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. If you want to get more content from me, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.